Hey friends, welcome to this week's video. This week we're going over luggage again because I have a couple trips coming up and our friends at Level 8 have provided us with maybe the perfect luggage for these instances. I am going on shorter trips and as a result, I need a smaller bag. And yes, I have their aluminum. However, the one that really made this attractive is it has a laptop compartment. And since one of these trips is business, kind of relevant. This is their Pro Carry-On, it's a 35 liter, I think it's about nine pounds, but it's a carry-on bag. Super nice construction, but let's take this on a flight and then we'll come back and talk about how I loaded this out for a business trip. So hotel room all settled in, in Ohio here. And this guy worked really well for the flight. Uh, I will say that I do like the materials that it's made of. It has this Baker Macrolon, I think his name is. It's this hard shell case, but the waterproofing is there. <laughs> so what happened in the, the bathroom of the airport is someone's faucet just exploded kind of, and it got all over this. Um, obviously, I don't have a video of it, but it held together and it kept my laptop all dry and everything. So I do like the fact that it can just kind of beat off water and it doesn't really have any issues despite there being gaps for the you know laptop compartment. The other thing that I like about it is the wheels. The wheels so far are just rolling like a madman, like ridiculous. Like I think you saw in that intro that like they just kind of fly out. So like I will lightly push this thing and it will just keep going. Like I can, it literally feels like a robot's next to me because I just give it a little push and it's just sitting right next to the side to me as I'm texting. So this, the wheels are super smooth. They are better feeling than what the Gibraltar, the aluminum ones are. They, they give me the same feeling as the Voyager in terms of the smoothness and the quietness of them. But because it's a smaller, lighter case, it can run away from you. So it's something to be careful with because I just set it down out of the car and just start running away. But the wheels just roll. It's just super nice with them. So I do like those right out of the gate. But as I promised, we should probably talk about what is inside. And we can start with the cool little function here inside. The combination lock controls both the internal access and laptop compartment, which each have their own button. The laptop sleeve is slightly padded with an elastic velcro arm to tie down your tech. There are also two small pockets which are perfect for flatter things like passports or battery packs. I personally like holding my house keys here for easy access and ensure I don't bring it around the city that I don't need them in. While a sleeve can hold a laptop and a tablet, it will depend on how much you use the compartment behind the laptop. The laptop compartment shares the space of the lid so you'll have to play around with your loadout to ensure that the laptop compartment closes. There is also a USB-A port at the top for charging. The Pro Carry-On does not come with a charger, however, it does have a cable that you can plug a third-party charger to give your luggage charging capabilities. Obviously, the flatter the charger, the better, as to not encumber your packing space. I found this to be a nice feature, but one I would generally not use because I need those chargers in my backpack for flights and car rides. I do know that a lot of people use charging capabilities on their carry-ons, and this will serve those people just fine, although I would have preferred if the port was a USB-C for modernism. As we move inside to the main storage, the Pro Carry-On has a non-zippered section, which uses a clip compression style strap to lock down your payload. I was able to fit a pair of dress shoes, gym shoes, and toiletries in my supplements bag. The zippered side has a mesh pocket and a covered pocket for accessories or dirty clothes. The space inside can accommodate a large packing cube, two medium packing cubes, or four small ones. 
For this business trip, I was able to pack three dress shirts, two pants, three casual shirts, gym clothes, and various socks and underwear. Based on the fact that I was bringing both my laptop and my iPad and I'm trying to fit it all in this luggage, this luggage is pretty jam-packed. This thing was a breeze to get through security and made it easy for TSA to inspect if needed. For those without TSA Pre or passing through airports like Cancun that force you to take out your tech, the Pro Carry-On is a super convenience to allow you to whip out your laptop and put it back without any fuss. I also noticed that the locking tabs aren't as firmly seated as their larger check-in bags, so there's some jingle jangle when running over cobblestones and uneven surfaces. All right, so enough of the business, work, travel sort of stuff. Definitely a little burnt out. I think it's time for a little vacation. And we're here in Tulum for someone's bachelor party, so this case is gonna be perfect for it because, you know, I can ditch the laptop real easy. Forget about that for a while. But also have a tactical case that will have exactly what I need. I don't need a bunch of clothes. I don't want to need a heavy shoes. This stuff is really gonna be mostly beach you know, some going out attire, some light shoes, just for, for a little bit of flex. But nothing crazy, you know? I wanna keep it pretty casual, and I think this case is gonna be perfect for that. Plus, we have an extremely dope Airbnb that I wanna make sure that I enjoy without having too much to carry around. So, let's see how I pack this for more fun instead of business. Let's check it out. This part of my trip came after a week-long Indian wedding where I had most of my stuff in another checked bag. Review above if interested. But for the bachelor party, I tried to keep everything within the pro carry-on. I still needed my laptop for work, but my load-up was much different for what I brought for my business trip. I relied more on packing cubes this time around and used the flap storage for accessories like jewelry and first aid. I packed my miscellaneous stuff in the zippered compartment to lock things down better, especially those things that were more random and loose. I was able to pack in two hats, goggles for cenotes, supplement pouches, a webcam, gym shoes, sandals, socks, and a set of jump ropes and TRX to ensure we didn't slip too far from the health front on vacation. On the other side, I leveraged a medium packing cube for clothes, a small packing cube for tech, and a toll trees bag from Peak Design. If you're using the level 8 packing cubes, everything will fit in beautifully, but let's look at my loadout. My toll tree bag is kind of chunky due to my new skincare routine, but it fit fine. The tech bag stored my microphone, mic tripods, action cam, wired headphones, a gimbal, and miscellaneous batteries, wires, and other review items. Clothing wise, I brought a set of gym clothes, three button downs, a pair of pants, two pairs of shorts, swim trunks, and underwear. From a damage perspective, the bag held up relatively well, however it did retain some residual material from the soft stone floors of our Airbnb when I was dragging it around for packing. However, once I was home, I was able to easily buff that out with a Brillo pad. On a final note, I did overpack this on the last day because I had to bring a bottle of tequila for The Bachelor. As a result, I did experience some bulging on the external laptop lid. It's still closed, but it did make the bag look less sleek and exposed more gaps. I definitely would not recommend overpacking the lid, especially when using the laptop compartment. But it's been a long month in Mexico and I'm looking forward for some home time. So let's head back to the crib and I can give you my final thoughts on the Pro Carry-On. So yeah, the Pro Carry-On is extremely dope and I think it's an easy pickup if you guys need a sort of hybrid carry-on. So for me, I think I'm going to be using it a lot just because I have business trips. You know, if I do work from remote in other countries or other cities, bringing the laptop and having it in my roll-on is a lot more comfortable and it gives me a lot more options in terms of what I can bring in my backpack. So, you know, like extra chargers, bringing on my iPad if I want to do a little bit more mobile recording and more editing. It just gives me a lot more flexibility, which I really appreciate. But I think the big question that a lot of you will probably be asking is, will this be my daily driver or my main go-to when it comes to a carry-on luggage? Because as we've mentioned before, I also have the aluminum Gibraltar, which I highly rated in a previous review. Check the full review above. But it's hard for me to say because if I'm bringing my laptop and I need to bring other stuff, I probably will default to the Pro because it's just as smoother wheels than the aluminum Gibraltar. It is lighter. Um, it has a little bit more flexibility with that hybrid scenario. So if I'm traveling a little bit lighter and I'm bringing my laptop, that'll likely be my go-to. However, if I'm not bringing my laptop, I, I want to focus a little bit more on carry capacity. I think the Gibraltar can fit a little bit more. And because of the class, you can kind of like push that thing down a little bit more. So I appreciate the structures and the class of the 
Gibraltar. Obviously, the looks are better on the Gibraltar too. Um, and it just packs a little bit more. It, it's the same leaderage, but in terms of like getting a little bit extra out of the luggage without it like faltering in structure, the Gibraltar is a little bit better. So it really just depends on what you're looking for. Um, but I like them both. I'm keeping them both. I'm just going to use them for different instances um, in my travel life. But again, as we've been doing these things for level eight, I do have a promotion code here so 10% off if you guys want to look at it if you if you get this right before September 1st there's also another code um, that you will see in the description for 15% off but after that you can always use the uh, most coin 10 code to get a little bit off and hopefully get some dope luggage we've done a lot from level 8 it's a brand that I highly recommend so you really can't go wrong and if you're doing a business person your business trips this pro carry-on is perfect for you so as always thank you guys so much for tuning in and staying until the end if you could please consider liking subscribing doing all things that you normally do on a video that you like and love and to my ogs thank you so much for sticking with me watching all the different types of content it's been really helping the channel and helping me partner with great companies like level eight so yeah as always i appreciate you see you soon